I always remember Sylvanus Thompson's dictum in Calculus Made Easy. What one fool can do, another can. Just like calculus, any good theory, or bad theory, religion, or scientific uh, hypothesis, if it can be understood by one person who is stupid, which I would assume almost everything can, if explained properly, it can be understood by everyone. I don't think atheism, and I don't think evolution, and I don't think the Big Bang are essentially beyond a, a person's comprehension. I'm not even saying the, the Big Bang is something altogether different. It's an original singularity, blah, 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 blah. It's complex. The idea of evolution, for one, is independent of atheism. Okay, I know atheists that don't believe in evolution. It's hard to fucking believe. It is. But I know one. I know at least one that doesn't believe in evolution, and he's an atheist. Okay, atheism doesn't mean evolution, atheism doesn't mean Big Bang. I'm fucking tired of people who are like, you're an atheist? Oh, your theories of evolution are silly. How can the world come from an explosion? And I'm like, you just fucking mixed up three things that are not connected at all. Just because they're taken as co common scientific fact. Like, one, there's no evidence for a god. Two, Evolution happened. You know, it's like intelligent design. You might as well go for intelligent falling. Like, there's no gravity. It's just intelligent falling. Fucking, it's obvious. Okay. Whew, and three. The world began with a singularity. And I hope it's going in another singularity. But, um... Different theories. Okay. Keep these fucking theories straight. It's so irritating. If you're gonna fucking criticize me, do it right. Do your homework, and don't fucking talk out of your ass. It's really fucking annoying. God damn. If you're gonna start slinging shit, fucking do your research first. It's easy. It's in books. There are books for you. They make books to criticize shit. But fucking... There's several really, really intelligent theists that have good points. If you can't make up your own, read them. Okay? Maybe we can have a useful debate. Stop preaching at me. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Preaching? Like, oh, it's the spirit. The great spirit in the... Shut up. Shut the fuck up and present some evidence. You say there's a God? I say prove it. Alright. I want to bring up a fundamental difference. Mutation is random. Okay? Mutation is random. Evolution is essentially non-random. By its definition, it's not random. It's not. It's a series of single-scaled changes that are random in some direction, and they're governed by very non-random laws. If, it, if there's a change that happens, which comes about through mutation, which is also not random, it's the result of environmental factors. If you want radiation, I don't... But it's essentially non-random. It, it... Fuck, I'm gonna have to redo this. <laughs> Whoop. Okay. I think there's a fundamental difference that people don't understand. People that are ignorant will approach me and say, How can you believe in evolution? How can you think that everything just randomly got this way? These people obviously have never read a word about evolution. They've never read anything. Like, they might have picked something up out of some theology book addressing it half-assed. They obviously have never taken the time to learn what evolution is. It's grand steps. It's grand changes that happen as a result of small steps. Genetic mutation. Mutation is random. That's all random element of chaos that is drawn to produce accelerating returns. Evolution is a process. Natural selection is, by definition, non-random. If you, if you survive, if you fulfill that niche, if your folded proteins that iterate into something, it's not the traits that do it. It's, it's not the body that makes that gets passed on. It's, it's the, the genetics, it's the genes that eventually iterate into that body. 
and those are changed, causing much different things. It's not a, an actual physical change, literally. It's it's how it's interpreted. It affects the whole th of of a being when it changes like that. And it is essentially non-random. When something is more skilled than something else, and it fulfills a niche, it does better and it survives more. And those that fail die off. That's not fucking random. That's not random at all. You know what? It's like saying that it's random if you put a bunch of big and small balls in one, like, uh, it, it's like trying to put a bunch of objects of varying size in a bin up top with a certain size hole and shaking it around and saying everything that falls through the bottom is completely random. Yes, that jostling is a random process, but it's being selected and you will get the smaller pieces at the bottom. This is one single change. Now take that, do that for billions of years, because our minds, I mean, talk to a geologist, they might be able to get this for you, but our minds don't normally think on this sort of scale. We're used to what's happening at lunch, what, you know, what am I doing tomorrow afternoon, what did I do 20 years ago? This, these small changes happen over hundreds of thousands, millions of years. Okay, these trade changes, and they don't necessarily take that long. Take dogs. We made dogs. We made bananas the way they are. We made dogs the way they are. We made... Uh, look at a chihuahua and tell me that that's a wolf. It's not. Genetically, it can breed with a wolf still, but give that process that's taken thousands of years, take that process and drag that on. Oh, I don't know two, three, four, a hundred million years. The changes happen. Like it's not random, folks, okay? This is there's nothing random about this. So please get it in your head. There is nothing. Evolution is not random. It has one random element element that it draws from. That's mutation, okay? Mutation is random. It's essentially random. The sorting process, natural selection, has n it's not random at all. It is essentially a non-random sorting process. It is a series of single sorts. Like, you know, when you have big balls falling in, or the, the big objects filtering through and the smaller objects, or the smaller objects falling out and the big objects staying up top. It's essentially single step processes like that, but so many of them in all the different niches in, in nature. And you get more complex things, like the eye. People are like, the eye couldn't have, you know, just magically came into existence. Well, of course it didn't. Let's say something, some, you know, one of the, the this more base beings, one of the earlier beings, had a half-functional eye system or something that sensed light. A half-working eye works better than no eye at all. So then they would get the advantage. And then when the eye improves over those slow, gradual changes, a piece of their genetics change here, a piece change there, the ones that suck die, okay? So they're forgotten. The ones that don't suck, the ones that come up useful, it, are selected non-randomly. They're selected also not unconsciously. There is no conscious being making the, the, the pick. This is not done out of, you know, aesthetics. This is done of survival. And if they survive to pass on the genes, those genes that iterated that body mix sexually pass on, mix sexually pass on. They recombined and are passed on. And over a long series of, of, of iterations, you get these, and the eye would get better and better because the ones that do it better are, be are better. They stick around. There's nothing random about that. Natural selection is not random. Evolution draws from a small, of the process, this grand process of evolution, this giant series of single changes, does not, it is not random. It, it draws off a very small bit of chaos from, from a closed system, which is obviously the universe, and it feeds it back into an open system, which is the fucking biosphere. And you could even get even smaller and say, you know, it's in it's it's small environment or it's you know, the ecosystem. Okay. It's not random, okay? So if you're gonna talk about it, if you're gonna try and refute 
evolution as it works, just as someone who's going to try and refute gravity with intelligent falling, know what you're talking about before you start making stupid claims. If you're going to claim something's not true, like, you know, natural selection or gravity, at least understand what gravity is first. Okay, so basically what we learned today was a little bit about evolution, what it is, just, just to base opening. Um, <laughs> I hope it was somewhat coherent. I'm kind of irritated. But we, we've got that, the, the being an atheist, okay, that's not even a theory. Okay, that's just lack of belief. That's, a, that's not even a choice. You don't even choose to be an atheist. By default, you're an atheist. Like, unless you actively hold a belief in a god, you're an atheist. You're born atheist. That's atheism, okay? It's over here. It's completely separated from number two, evolution. Okay, it's not random. Don't say it's random. And three, Big Bang. Where the fuck are you getting Big Bang from? Stop it. Pulling that into the conversation. I never made a claim about the Big Bang. I'm trying to understand it myself. But that's not essential to what evolution is, and it has nothing to do with atheism. Thank you for your time. <laughs> I wish you fun and enjoyment in this... Um, sometimes I feel like it's the best of all possible worlds, sometimes I don't. When I read certain comments, get private messages, I mean, I, lo I love interaction, but do your fucking homework first. I, I like intelligent discussion. Drooling at me isn't going to work, okay? I love you guys. <laughs> Peace out. Fuck off. See you later. Okay, so if you're a person who thinks one way... Don't just go out and try and back your shit up. Just understand it. And you know what? If you still feel the same way, at least arm yourselves. What, what, it, there's nothing about atheism. There's nothing about theism. There's nothing about gods or the Big Bang or evolution that is beyond a fool's grasp. If one person, I'm sure that one a fucking total moron, grasped at least one of each of these concepts, what one fool can do, Another can. Alright, so do your homework.